Michael Jackson's children, Paris and Prince Jackson, opening up in a rare interview as Paris begins her own music career. Paris Jackson, the only daughter of the King of Pop, was supposed to rule the world. But the controversies and dark realities about Michael Jackson's career would catch up to her. Join us as we reveal Paris. Jackson confirms what we knew all along. Paris Jackson's turbulent early life. It's one thing to know that your parents divorced when you were a child, and another to realize that their marriage was a sham to begin with. Paris Michael Catherine Jackson was born on April 3, 1998, to the king of pop and his second wife, Debbie Rowe. She was the middle child of the couple who was already making headlines for living a turbulent marriage that was plagued by Michael Jackson's array of notorious scandals. Despite the couple's persistent problems, Paris's birth was nothing but a joyous moment. Named after the city where she was conceived, the child was a dream come true for the Jackson family. Her aunt, LaToya, and Kathy Hilton had long wished for a daughter who'd be named after the city of love. So, when Paris was born, the entire Jackson estate erupted into a celebration. It's true that Paris was everyone's favorite, but she shared the most sacred bond with her father, who was grappling with a severe public image crisis at that time. You see, by 1998, the King of Pop was already accused of being involved in inappropriate conduct with minors. And when he had a daughter of his own, the world began to question Paris's safety at the hands of an individual who only pretended to like children for his own selfish and peculiar fantasies. For the rest of the world, Michael Jackson was an amazing girl dad who had kept his child away from the scrutinizing eye of the public. It didn't matter what big news outlets ran about the musician, his daughter, they lived in a world of their own. This is why, for Paris, her dad was a hero who put everything on the line to give his children a passage outside of the vulture-like paparazzi and invasive journalists. The musician was known for making big changes in his schedules to hang out with his children, who often wore masks to hide their faces from the eagled eyes cameras. But of course, even children as privileged as Paris had to step out into a world of their own, which was filled with tragedies and scandals. Michael Jackson's only daughter was troubled by the fact that she grew up without a mother. She was only two years old when her mother, Debbie, and father, Michael Jackson, decided to part ways forever. The media was already speculating about the end of a marriage that didn't exactly yield explosive divorce settlements and ugly court files. After all, despite the couple's public sham to appear as a happy couple, the world already knew about their dark truth. The matrimonial alliance between Debbie and Michael was a mere business deal. The singer's first marriage was with Lisa Marie Presley, the daughter of Elvis Presley. While the couple had their period of romantic bliss, the public accusations against Jackson changed their relationship forever and for the worse. There was only one thing that Jackson had desired from his marriage, children. Yet Presley wasn't sure about starting a family with a person whom she didn't see much of a future with. This is when the musician begins to get close to Debbie, who was the assistant to Jackson's dermatologist, Dr. Arnold Klein. Since Michael was already diagnosed with lupus and vitiligo, he was always in and out of his dermatologist's clinic. With the passage of time, his friendship with Debbie turned into a forbidden relationship that the singer's wife, Lisa, didn't approve of. But she was already done with the marriage and realized that Debbie had offered to carry Jackson's children in exchange for a transactional marriage. So, she wasn't shocked that a very plain-looking, unglamorous, average Jane of an assistant married her former husband. Throughout their marriage, Jackson categorically denied that Debbie's only role was carrying his children. There were rumors that the couple wasn't a typical couple, and their two children were born out of artificial insemination. Well, it wasn't easy to verify those rumors. But one thing was clear. Paris's mother didn't look back at her children when she divorced Michael Jackson. During her marriage, she had received millions of dollars as gifts from the singer. Oddly enough, a lot of monetary transitions also coincided with the birth of the couple's two children, Prince and Paris. When they finally called it quits, Debbie silently took a hefty amount of divorce settlement and gave up any sort of custody rights for her two children. The divorce was pretty swift to everyone's wonder. The rumors about the couple's transactional marriage became a pretty factual headline around 2002. While the world was debating the nature of Debbie's relationship with the King of Pop, Paris was grappling with her own struggle. She was only two years old when her mother suddenly went away from her life, leaving her busy father as her sole guardian. In the years growing up, Paris didn't get the chance to feel motherly love. On top of that, the media incessantly speculated ruthless stories about the Jackson children and their predicament at their own home. People were calling them kids born out of surrogacy, 
rather than a loving, romantic relationship. It would take years for Debbie to tell the world that she didn't intend to be the loving mother everyone expected her to be. My kids don't call me mom because I don't want them to. Her relationship with Jackson was strictly professional. In fact, the couple never even slept together. In her own words, they impregnated me. It's just like I impregnate my mares for breeding. It was very technical. I was his thoroughbred. So she didn't feel the incentive and need to be there for her children, who grew up in the middle of Jackson's very public and legal fight to save his reputation. Paris would be a teenager when she would eventually reunite with her mother, but that was too late. The only daughter of the King of Pop had gotten accustomed to life-threatening vices to cope with the reality that left her and millions of others in shock and disbelief. Paris's bond with her father. With her mother gone, Paris spent most of her life at her father's Neverland Ranch, away from the public eye and scrutiny. At this time, Michael was still grappling with severe child abuse allegations, as investigative journalists made several attempts to pen down exposés on the star's life. His notorious divorce with Debbie had also added a strain to his reputation. And as he embarked on colossal musical success and sold arenas, his public image was more speculative than ever. So, it is not shocking to know that Paris Jackson didn't have a typical childhood experience. It wasn't easy for her to enroll herself in a children's summer camp while her dad was away. Everywhere the child went, she was forced to hear about the alleged crimes of her father that she knew nothing about. So, Michael Jackson, who was a really good father by all accords, brought hands-on learning to his children in the sanctity of their home. The musician made sure that his children were cultured and received the best possible education. Paris recalls that her father used to take them to luxurious five-star hotels and cafes to teach them the subtle art of fitting into high society. He showed them all of the glitz and glamour of the world that remained inaccessible to the children due to the constant media surveillance and fans who couldn't take a hint. But more than that, Michael Jackson showed them the world that was devoid of riches and privileges. Even though Prince and Paris were born with silver spoons in their mouths, the singer also made sure that his children knew the ropes of living life without wealth and luxury. This is why the children hardly lived in big and glamorous cities like Los Angeles, New York City, and Paris. Instead, Michael Jackson took them to third world countries and introduced them to an entirely new culture of struggle, striving, and hustle that was devoid of material inheritance and generational wealth. According to the sources close to the King of Pop, he wanted his children to learn the importance of sheer hard work and struggle instead of just riding on their last name. Sure, he introduced them to the rich culture of music, art, dance, and acting, but wanted them to try and test their talents in the real, visceral world without using their father's name. This is why today, Paris Jackson has made her life's mission to do right by her dad's teachings. At the age of 25, she is the only Jackson daughter who has proved herself in multiple arenas. She's known to be a proficient musician, actor, and a popular name in the world of modeling. Trust us when we say that her trajectory wasn't exactly convenient, Despite having Jackson as her last name, she had to fight off the bad reputation that her dad had left in the world. But the actress-slash-musician navigated a difficult career as her dad taught her the ultimate struggle to earn fame and popularity. In an interview with Naomi Campbell in 2021, Paris revealed, Even growing up it was about earning stuff. If we wanted five toys from FAO Schwartz or Toys R Us, we had to read five books. It's earning it, not just being entitled to certain things or thinking, oh, I got this. It's like working for it, working hard for it. It's something else entirely. It's an accomplishment. Perhaps this is why Paris is an active name in the Hollywood industry who is known for doing her grunt work. She loves to show up to auditions, read through scripts, and spend hours in the studio producing her original music. It's true that Paris has left her own mark on the musical industry. Her debut album, Wilted, was released in 2020. And well, her critics were pleasantly surprised to see how Paris had found her own musical signature, rather than blatantly copying her father's success formula. Even then, Paris credited her dad for guiding her musical inspirations. Her own sound was influenced by the music that her hitmaker dad used to play for her, including the Motown Beats and the Beatles. Apparently, Jackson was the pioneer of pop, but introduced her daughter to genres like jazz, the blues, classical music, soft rock and rock. So even when Paris deviates away from her father as her sole musical influence, she has found a way to memorialize him in her music. The singer has often talked about how her dad would always find time and space to teach her music, lyricism, and playing instruments. 
While he was mostly busy with touring and rolling out successful albums, he would take his daughter along the ride and made sure to give her his undivided attention. This is probably why Paris was known to be Jackson's favorite child. She was his only daughter and shared a deep appreciation for music just like he did. Paris Jackson has talked multiple times about the turmoil of growing up without a mother. She would only reunite with Debbie Rowe in the aftermath of losing her father and hitting rock bottom due to her mental health struggles. But nothing would compare to the sheer loss and grief she'd feel after losing her father, who left a remarkable legacy as well as a string of controversies that would forever haunt his children. The Death of Michael Jackson it was June 25, 2009, when popular websites experienced a worldwide crash. Sites like Google, Twitter, Wikipedia, and America Online Instant Messenger lagged and slowed down, as if the world was experiencing a massive internet outage, or worse, a turbulent cyber attack. But well, the reality was far more bleak. You see, the world had just heard the news of the king of pop dying of cardiac arrest, and everyone, in sheer disbelief, wanted to gauge the truth behind the news themselves. Michael Jackson's death was nothing but controversial. The singer was preparing for his concert residency that was due to begin in London when he approached his doctor with a persistent issue of difficulty sleeping. His personal physician, Conrad Murray, had given him heavy doses of propofol, lorazepam, and midazolam that the singer popped like candies. Eventually, it was a propofol overdose that would lead the singer to a cardiac arrest in his own home in Los Angeles. Apparently, by the time 911 was called, Michael Jackson wasn't breathing. The paramedics performed cardiopulmonary resuscitation en route to the Ronald Reagan Medical Center. Even at the hospital, the doctors tried resuscitation efforts, but the king of pop had gone gently into the good night. At the time of her father's death, Paris Jackson was 11 years old, and her life was changed forever. On July 7, 2009, the world witnessed the singer's memorial service. Then, Paris Jackson stepped into the spotlight to give an unplanned famous speech at the service to express her undying love for her father. Most famously, Paris remarked, Ever since I was born, Daddy has been the best father you could ever imagine, and I just want to say that I love him so much. In many ways, Paris's heartfelt speech was her official step into the mainstream popularity that Michael Jackson had kept at bay for his children. Even at the highly sought memorial service, Paris Jackson was supposed to exist in the shadows as the world grieved the loss of a musical legend who had also touched lives with his profound charity and philanthropy. But the 11-year-old girl couldn't resist taking the microphone to reminisce about the Michael Jackson that we didn't get to see. Paris's speech showed the world a whole different side of the singer that was somewhere lost in his multiple lawsuits and serious allegations. The world knew that in the aftermath of Michael's death, Paris would become the face of Jackson's legacy. After the memorial service, the world dived into the uncertainty around Jackson's death. There was no doubt that the singer had died due to a cardiac arrest induced by a heavy intake of drugs. But the singer was known to be meticulous about his health and his medical decisions. It was highly out of character for him to pop pill after pill. It's true that his physician, Murray, had depicted miscalculated medical judgment while prescribing pills to his high-profile patient. Since Conrad had failed to regulate the doses of anesthetic propofol for his patient, he was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter. Many people assumed that the curious case of Michael Jackson's death was done and dusted when something even more turbulent happened. When Paris Jackson made her entry into the mainstream media as a teenager, she kept reiterating a dark reality about the death of her father. Believe it or not, to this date, the troubled daughter of the celebrated musician believes that her dad was murdered. When Paris was 18 years old, she began to tell the world about the fears and insecurities her father had. Before his tragic demise in 2009, Jackson had warned his daughter that there were some people who didn't want to see him alive and making music. While he kept the identity of those individuals anonymous, he was scared of people who were out there to get him. Paris was hardly 11 back then. Even though she was concerned about her father's well-being, she didn't make much about the warnings Jackson was leaving her with. In multiple interviews, she was asked if she truly believed that her father was murdered. And on every occasion, she replied that there was no doubt that her father was killed. She said, because it's obvious, all arrows point to that. It sounds like a conspiracy theory, but all real fans and the family know it. 
it was a setup. Speaking of conspiracy theories, there are multiple hypotheses about Michael Jackson's death. There's an entire faction of the internet that believes that the singer is still alive and had to fake his own death because of crushing debt and the fact that more child abuse allegations against him were about to surface. But the entire theory about Jackson's alleged murder comes from Paris herself. There was a slight indication from the family that the police didn't investigate the case of Jackson's death responsibly. They just assumed that he had self-overdosed and ran with it. Even in the case of Conrad Murray, he should have been treated as an accessory to murder as he was allegedly slow poisoning the musical legend. At the apex of her career, Paris even hinted that she was trying her best to expose the actual murderers of her father. In her own words, I am playing a chess game to bring the perpetrators to justice. It's not a surprise that her words had gone viral, but some ardent Michael Jackson fans had predicted that some powerful people were behind the singer's death, and even Paris's consistent efforts wouldn't bring them down. And well, to be fair, the singer model hardly brings up the alleged murder of her father in her interviews. But of course, there are other rumors and conspiracy theories that have badgered Paris several times, so much so that she has to step out of her position as a social media recluse to answer some of her harshest critics. When Paris started to make waves in the mainstream media as soon as her career took off, she was attacked by several rumors that left her emotionally vulnerable. But there was one rumor that she remains pretty staunch about. A popular speculative theory suggests that Paris isn't Michael Jackson's biological child, and their evidence is her stark white face that doesn't reflect the fact that she's actually mixed race. It was rumored that Debbie had slept with someone else during her marriage with the King of Pop, but since Jackson loved children, he decided to raise Paris as his own child. Paris herself has reiterated multiple times that she's in fact African-American, despite her skin color. In an interview with the Rolling Stones, Paris clarified that she considers herself racially black. Her exact quote said, I consider myself black, she continued, adding that her father would look me in the eyes and he'd point his finger at me and he'd be like, you're black, be proud of your roots. The statement didn't go well for many people as they accused Paris of ignoring a part of her race. You see, her mother, Debbie Rowe, was Caucasian. However, this fact hasn't really stopped the model-slash-singer from reclaiming her racial identity as solely African-American. A part of her reason was her close proximity to her father, who basically raised her with African-American values, culture, and tradition. Paris only found the capacity to bond with her mother much later in her life. Not to mention, after her dad passed away, her mother didn't step up to take her responsibility either. That sort of absentee mother dynamic had hurt Paris beyond repair, who had fallen into the trap of addiction and devastating coping mechanisms. After Jackson's passing, it was Paris's paternal grandmother who raised her and her siblings. Alienated from her mother for several years, the young model didn't ever learn to embrace a part of her identity that simply didn't matter to her. But of course, she had other pressing matters on her hands too. When Paris kickstarted her Hollywood career, she expected to find a clean slate for the tainted Jackson name. But nope, the skeletons of her father's allegedly disgraced choices returned to haunt her. Even today, Paris Jackson feels the soul-crushing pressure to tell the truth about her father's scandal that almost wrecked his career and family life in the early to mid-90s. And well, let's just say that Paris has gotten into a lot of hot water for making several statements about her father's involvement in a legal settlement that shook the world. What has Paris said about the infamous child abuse allegations? To be fair, when the world first got to know that Jackson had been implicated in a police case that involved conduct with a minor, Paris wasn't even born. She would only make her entry into the world when the legal firestorm about her father's alleged involvement in a pedophilia circle almost gambled away his career. The world saw in horror and shock when multiple allegations about the singer's inappropriate behavior towards young boys hit the stands. In an infamous raid, the police had found an obscene amount of magazine in Michael Jackson's home that depicted young boys undressed. It also didn't help that the musician's sister also came out to call her brother a pedophile, only to retract her statement later. Rumor has it that the evidence against Jackson's involvement in said case was insurmountable. But even then, the singer didn't want to put himself through a court trial. It was alleged that the singer was reluctant to settle the case as well. He simply wanted the charges against him to go away. But the child's parents refused to comply with the money-powered demands that the King of Pop was making. Eventually, the family dropped all criminal and police charges against the singer. And in the blink of an eye, Michael Jackson somehow conjured a $23 million settlement that happened outside the court. $23 million. 
Many took this settlement as Jackson's confession and the painstaking regret of engaging in such an act. But of course, we can't forget that the singer was never tried in a court of law. This is why it is surprising that Paris has been forced to take the brunt of her father's crime, or at least denounce his actions in public. However, the singer's daughter has taken a super ambiguous stance against the accusations that keep piling up. On multiple instances, the 25-year-old has indicated that the media loves to weave lies about her father to sell exposés and documentaries, referring to the recent allegations that were made against the dynamic singer. But there's an entirely different side to the internet too. A different subculture of people have criticized the singer for not defending her father enough. The recent wave of hot water came almost five years ago when Homebox Office's bombshell documentary brought new accusations against Jackson into focus. The documentary Leaving Neverland showed the stories of Wade Robson and James Safechuck, who had accused the legendary singer of inappropriate conduct on multiple occasions. As soon as the documentary went on air, the internet was in turmoil when they learned how Jackson was able to stall any grave allegations against him that could have killed his career. While several people supported Robson and Safechuck, others couldn't really get behind the documentary and the evidence it suggested. Either way, people wanted some response from Paris Jackson, who eventually took to Twitter to reveal that she doesn't feel the responsibility to defend her father every single day. It was actually Jackson's nephew, Taj, who became the rallying face behind the accusations that were made in Leaving Neverland. On the other hand, Paris took a more laid-back approach to the explosive confessions that Homebox Office aired on several platforms. In the midst of the controversy, Paris seemed to be more concerned about her career, which was already taking a hit in the aftermath of accusations that had resurfaced on the internet and beyond. Rather than defending her father or validating the victims, she was more interested in solving the public relations crisis brewing at the bombshell documentary's back end. Later, Paris was dragged on the internet for posing a selfish outlook on the matter, as she seemingly didn't care about her father's reputation going down the drain. Others also criticized Paris for calling the confessions of Robson and safe Chuck tabloids and lies. For years, the singer-slash-model has maintained that there's already a judgment reserved in her father's case. Of course, she's referring to the infamous Thousand trial that acquitted Michael Jackson from all counts of child abuse and the high-profile court proceeding had brought forward 140 witnesses who had provided varying imagery of the international pop star. While several thought that Jackson was the Peter Pan of our times, others painted him as a horrible pedophile who jeopardizes the safety of vulnerable kids. At the end of the day, the Peter Pan imagery had won the jury's hearts, and Michael Jackson was a free man. In reality, the singer had lost a lot of battles in the court of public opinion. That is precisely why Paris Jackson's career couldn't reach the very apex she had desired. It's true that Jackson's name still lives on through the multiple hits he had produced in his lifetime. But the arsenal of allegations against the singer and Paris's refusal to talk openly about them has further strained her career. It was long speculated that Michael Jackson had close ties with the infamous offender Jeffrey Epstein. In January 2024, Court documents from Epstein's high-profile case named Michael Jackson as one of the attendees of his parties that mainly took place on his islands. The singer's direct involvement was never proven, but the files suggested that the legendary singer had attended those events. Once again, people prompted Paris to respond to these allegations as she has a history of calling any evidence against her father a conjured conspiracy theory or a fabricated story. But Paris didn't respond to any prompts and requests made by her own fans. Even then, Paris cites her dad as the most important person in her life whose cherished memories kept her going in the darkest of times. It's true that the singer has bounced back from crushing mental health struggles and a case that derailed her life. And she wouldn't have been able to do any of that if it wasn't for her legendary father. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.